This is the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles. And I just want to say that enemies are a way of life for a guy like me. Um, I, uh, I, I'm so impressed with the fact that, uh, well, first of all, I don't like fucking people. And, uh, especially in today's times, it is a, it is a Disney world of people that it can make your head spin around and around. There's so many bad people in this world today. And uh, I don't make... Well, let's put it this way. If, if people are scumbags, right? Then they deserve to be cursed at, criticized, and, uh, and corrected. And most people I deal with are scum. From my CB radio days, 50 years on the radio, make tons of enemies. And uh, if there was a CB Radio Hall of Fame, I'd be in there. But you see, with that said, that I have... The enemies that I have are scumbags like Billy Painter. Who are nothing but a bunch of fucking low-life, uh, half-effect, farm-fucking, bestiality, dick-sucking... Chicken fucking ass wipes. And these people need, you know, they need a good, you know what I mean? And I doubt that would straighten them out. But people like that need to be straightened out. You know, it's an old Italian gangster saying. Um, I mean, I got enemies everywhere, even uh, close to home. But you know what I do if it's through technology, right, on social media? I'm sorry, I just want to adjust this to the best of my ability. Because that's where... People talk a lot of shit, you know? They don't have the guts to say it to your fucking face. So they... They spread lies about you. Um, like a faggot like Billy Painter. Who's the ultimate liar. Because that's all he's got, is the lie. He's got nothing else. And there are people like him, whether... Believe it or not, they could be... Uh, your neighbors, they could be uh, people that live in your area. There's just so much scum out there in the world. And, uh, and, uh, but you see, I'm going to deal with something bigger than that. I'm going to deal with, with, um, the society. I think I'm ready to take on society's enemies. I consider, well, I don't know if they're my enemies, but they probably will be. Um, but um, uh, 
they they definitely are uh, a problem, and it's almost like they affected me personally. Uh, I have issues with. I think I've made a, tons of videos talking about the issues I have with uh, with today's society. Uh, the physical components of that society are the rapper crappers, the uh, Generation G or Z, uh, millennials, um, uh, black people, uh, not the whole population, but uh, I would say a good majority of that generation that acts the way they act with their violence and their intimidation and everything like uh BL BLM I would have a problem with that uh the feminist movement which is attached to the lesbian and homosexual communities I have a problem with that and uh Perhaps uh, God is directing me and in encouraging me to, to take a stand against these poisonous people that are nothing but an arm of the devil, of Satan. And... Uh, so, whatever problems I've had in the past with neighbors and or petty people or people on the street or when I was doing my job and and uh, I met like the worst people, people from the neighborhood that were bullies and everything. Perhaps my calling is bigger. Than those things. A lot bigger. And uh, I proclaim. Myself to be the new Howard. Well. That's cool. But I think. I'm going to be something. Bigger than that. And. Uh, we're going to start. With forming. Joe's Rock and Roll Army. And we're going to take back what's ours. And it's going to be a an uphill fight because rock and roll has been dealt. It, it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, there's there's no more good rock and roll. There's 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 crap if you like it, but there's no more good rock and roll. It's all dead, and we need to bring it back, and we need to fight for. And it's and it's not just uh, it's discrimination, you know. This whole rap crap is nothing but uh, racist discrimination against white people. And uh, to the ignorant people out there, uh, they're going to compare what I say to racism, but it is the racism of. The black people and the and 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 the liberal leftist douchebags that uh, that somehow are defending them. I don't know for what political reason that I'm talking about. And uh, also, I'll, as I said in my other videos, the new world order, which has decided to take away our beloved rock and roll music. I'm going to tell you something. The Crazy Joe show is going to be an entertainment show, but it's going to have a lot of political ratifications, and we need a savior, and that savior is me, and I have a purpose in life that not even Billy Faggot Cocksucker Painter can do anything about, or people like him. Nobody can do anything about it because my message will live on 
in infamy forever. I will be the person that brings it back, that saves us from the insanity. And I'm not blaming homosexuals or gays or lesbians for what's going on. That's a separate issue. That's my own personal opinion. But certainly the New World Order is responsible. And those people, those suits, and we know who they are. And they talk like this. Well, let's have a bagel, relax. They're the ones that are in charge. And they have violated my rights to be a free human being. Because they took away our beloved rock and roll. And they gave it to the Schwarzes.